this is a mic test hello guys welcome to my channel it's been a long time since we've done a makeup video and today i want to do a fall inspired makeup I'm drinking some now tea hello everyone and we shall do it comfortably so i think starting your makeup is really important to prep your skin that's what everybody says i'm using Dear Claire's Midnight Blue Clearing Water Cream. It's really light, moisturizes, calms the skin, prevents and treats acne pro skin. It has some chamomile, guazolein, blueberry extract, and absorbs right away. So I just really like this light texture that it has. I also really like Fundamental Eye Awakening Cream by Claire's. I like to use it in the morning when I wake up and just whenever I feel a bit dry underneath my eyes. It's always nice to have a little moisturizing. This is the eyeshadow makeup palette we're going to be using today, a bit later. When it comes to sunscreen and the, the skin, this is my go-to and has been for maybe like 2-3 years now. But I've also tried this one by the Alba. It's pretty nice. This one is, feels more moisturizing and leaves a bit of a glowy... It smells like oranges too. I heard that it's nice to tap your sunscreen onto your skin. Everything is better, I think, with gentle tapping rather than smudging when it comes to skin and makeup. Feels like I am putting the product directly into the skin, you know what I mean? It's quite gloomy today, so still putting the sunscreen on though. <sighs> I am getting ready to go to a cafe and get a cinnamon latte and maybe a little pastry and edit my videos and also work on the business plan. For the skin, I have been really loving Herborean Correct CC Cream for the daily use. It corrects the redness without giving you like a thick coverage and just looks really natural. I'll show you. Practically you don't see it, so it just helps you to even out the skin tone. It gives you a nice canvas to work with when you apply different colors so they don't blend. It's really not the option if you're looking for a thicker coverage, but you know, layering is always an option. I'm gonna use a little bit more. Looking for a good concealer. If you guys have any recommendations on like a light moisturizing, good coverage, but not thick coverage, but natural concealer, please let me know in the comments. 혹시 좋은 컨실러를 추천 있으시면 여기 영상 밑에 댓글에다가 알려주시면 감사하겠습니다. By the way, 안녕하세요 여러분, 안젤리나 다니엘입니다. 원래 제 이름은 안젤리나로 아마 아실 거예요. 그런데 러시아 원래 제 이름은 안젤리나 다니엘입니다. 원래 OG original 발음 안젤리나 다니엘. 시험 프리에드 미아즈 안젤리나. So this is what it does. As you can see, it's light and natural, but still gave like a nice evened out the skin tone quite nicely. I'm gonna put some lip balm. This is a lip therapy from the Fresh. So cute. I'm gonna put on some of this serum onto my lashes. I actually put a little bit of the jojoba oil into the bottle. Now it's the mixture of a serum and jojoba oil. So I just put it directly into here. For my blush today, I chose these two. You've probably known I've been using this one for a while and this is Pia. Got it. Oh, sorry. This is Pia. This is Dashik. I got it from Cecil. I was over at her house and she was like, oh yeah, if you want, you can take it. But it might be too, too rosy for the look I'm going for, so I'm gonna go with this one. I really like a cream blush because I get to sort of control where it goes with my finger and blend it in nicely. You can also build build it up. I'm going for a more natural look today with a little bit of a color, pop of color, so focusing on the areas under my eyes here. I'm just tapping and blending. I also want to put a little bit on the arch of my nose to connect 
I honestly already like the makeup. I would just go out like this probably. Let's move on to the eyebrows. Lately I've been doing them very lightly. I've even thought of bleaching them, going for a very light look. I might still do it, but I'm still contemplating like... <laughs> so I'm using a bobby brown in mahogany. Comes with pencil on this side and a brush on the other. Brushing them up, looking in the mirror. Gently filling up just a little, creating very shadowy effect. And if I want, I can move them a bit closer. Just going with this natural romantic fall look. Going to a cafe. Get it ugly. Just like that, we got our eyebrows. Okay, I think it's time we move on to the eyeshadow palette. I try them sh eyeshadows. The lightest color here. Okay, moving on to this one. I like this one a lot. Just very neutral, light. A little bit more on the brown, darker side. Focusing on the outer corners. As if it just made any difference. <laughs> it does, it did. A little bit dark in here, right? This this is really nice color right next to it. I'm gonna use it for my nose contouring. Shadow and under the lip. It's like you're painting. <laughs> Maybe a bit too much. So if you put too much, blend it out. Because we have this blush, it sort of connects nicely. What do you think? <laughs> really having fun. This is great, guys. Let's kind of be bold and put a little bit of this mixed with this. It's meshing my clothes nicely. Onto the very corner. Under. Under eye. Under eye. For the definition. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is lovely. And moving out in the outer corners. Oh, I love it. See, because we've put this lighter base eyeshadow before, it is easier to blend it all in with more silky smooth. This NYX lip pencil in the shade Dessert First. Distinguish my birth marks, my moles. In Korea, every time I go to get my makeup before the shooting at the beauty salon, they tend to cover up all of my moles, but I really like them, so I ask them to keep them and even exact, like make them more visible with a pencil. Or I just take it with me, and after the makeup's done, I go to the bathroom and I'm like, ding, ding, she's ready. I feel more of myself when I see them. Same pencil or the eyebrow pencil before, I would usually kind of do a little wing, but we're not trying to make a wing. What we're trying to do is prolong the eye for this bit of sexy, cute look. Because fall is all about being sexy and cute. When you're ordering your latte and asking for that, can I get it with cinnamon, please? All right, moving on to my favorite part. Wait, we're gonna put mascara first. Using a brown mascara. Very neutral. Oh, very neutral. Again. Creating like a clump effect on Domino. Because I'm not looking for a bombshell. Glamorous. I'm thinking more of a... I cried and then my eyelashes are wet. And they're clumpy. You can use tweezers for your eyebrows. I did a three kilometer run today this morning in the park. It's so nice. Have you guys ever tried running? I'm super into it. Like I realized it doesn't have to be a suffering. You can actually take it slow and enjoy the slow pace and, and breathe and look around and listen to your favorite music. The art of natural clumpy eyelashes. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how zoomed in we are right now. Onto my favorite part is lip contouring and lip makeup. Here I like to get creative. I like to use this double-sided contouring lipstick and what I do, I just follow the natural shadow light under here as well in the corner.
not only gives you more defined look to your lip, I also really like the shade and I think it's perfect for this demure, muted, fall, autumn, natural look. And with the highlighter, I'm going to put it up here on the lip. If you want, you can also put a little bit of the same highlighter into the corners of your eyes for this wet look. Orange, I have the same one in transparent, but what you do, I think they're quite similar. a bit here on your cheeks and it's gonna give you such a nice glowy skin effect and last but not least sometimes I'd like to use a 2 slash 4 sculpt lip shader in salmon Korean brand my makeup artist she gave me this one as a gift because I was like oh my god this is such a beautiful color what is that it is in this like salon color a butterfly Also, sometimes I like to put it on I'm getting too carried away with this. Last but not least, in the middle of my lip here, Veni Vidivici, Veni New Collection by Vidivici came up with this beautiful brown lip balm. It's a brown lip balm. Let me just show you. Wow. I think so far my favorite. Guys, so this is it. The final look before my camera dies thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video also follow my telegram thank you so much for watching okay this is the final look let me know if there are any makeup looks or tutorials that you would like to see or makeup looks that you would like me to try. I would love to try them in my next video. So let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and and wait for more content to come a selfie. I really love this look, I really do. Oh, and I'm wearing Yuji. This is a Korean brand that I've recently discovered and it's such a beautiful quality. Wait, what happened here? Maybe I closed this one.